how to deal with very aggressive players in Escape from Tarkov. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can stand up against some chats in your Tarkov raid. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back. Glad to have you here. And the weekends in Escape from Tarkov are always like a frenzy, especially if you play on a very crowded and popular server like Moscow, Auto EU, or the US, of course. And that's why I thought about right now a lot of players are new to Tarkov or are in the middle of their current wipe experience. And this especially happens during the weekends. This is normal because during this time period, the majority of the player base has time to play Tarkov. And that's why it's very important for you out there. How can you deal with very aggressive players or how can you deal with the chat? Chats have thick armor, level 5 or level 6, face shields and most likely some fully automatic weapons, M4s, HK416, Vector, MP7 and all of that stuff. And of course you want to know how you can beat them. And that's why you have to analyze how does aggressive players play. If you want to be good in Escape from Tarkov, you have to know when should you be an aggressive player and when should you have slowed down. And the honest truth is, if you have an opponent who knows how to be very aggressive and who knows how to slow down in the right moment, you will have a very hard time in Escape from Tarkov. But the majority of the very aggressive players are watching too many streams from really good guys or watching too many streams from guys who think they are very aggressive and very good and they try to copy very bad habits like control W all the time, sprinting all the time, only playing fully automatic weapons, throwing nades everywhere and all of that stuff. And there is a solution how you can stand up. So let's start with the first thing. If you are facing a very aggressive player, remember, most likely he has a fully automatic weapon, M4 or Vector in the most, most cases, a face shield or level five or level six armor. So, and let's jump to your point. How can you beat it? So you have to have a very, very good ammunition into your weapon. You don't have to have a fully automatic weapon. Good ammunition is enough. M61, 995, SP6, SPP or BP, um, some SVD or whatever, you have to have very good ammunition. If you don't have good ammunition, you can still beat them. But you have to make sure to aim for the head, aim for the leg, but I would go for headshots. Headshots are a key ability in Escape from Tarkov. You have to be sure to make headshots. Learn to aim for the throat or for the head because of the recoil of your weapon, you will jump a little bit above and you can land some proper headshots. So this is, as I said, a key ability. If you play the MP5 or any other 9mm weapon, the Vector or something else, try Green Tracer because Green Tracer can help you a lot and Green Tracer can help you with your aim ability training. But let's continue. We are still alive and we have an, a very aggressive player. Those players tend to sprint a lot. What that means, they will give away a lot of information. If they sprint and if they stop, or if they sprint and they try to shoot you, there is a very big time, a very big gap till they have to raise their weapon and till they are able to shoot you. And that's why the ergonomic sets in Escape from Tarkov are so important. If you have a better ergonomics, you will be way faster ready to fire. So what you should do is you have to have a certain confidence. You will lose the fight against an aggressive player if you camp in a corner, if you sit way, way back, and if you think, okay, I'm going to die, I'm sitting in a corner and let's finish this real quick. That's the wrong mindset. And that's why this video is an additional video to my previous videos about the mindset and big mistakes in PvP. You have to have a certain confidence. And this method also works against cheaters. And the reason for that is quite simple. Cheaters are just very, very bad aggressive players or chats. They think they have the advantage of cheating, of the information that they know where you are. Let's say your cheater has only a wall hack or radar push against him. It's like they will sprint towards you, push against him, peak first. And that's a big, big, big advantage for you or in Escape from Tarkov right now. If you peak in the right moment, you will win, especially against some aggressive players, but because they will sprint towards you, they will try to throw some nades, nades and that's the point number three. They will try to nade you and you can use this moment during the nade flies towards you or during you can hear nades peak or push in the right moment or and this is number four leave the area so let's say back to number three they will throw the nade you can use this split second to push your opponent because 
this is a moment of surprise, which is a really high tactical advantage. Use the moment of surprise and push against them. Push against them during the push you, push against them during the throw the nade. They will throw so many nades in your room, you will lose the fight. Don't hide in the corner because they have fully automatic weapons. With tactic tactical lights, you will lose the fight. Don't hide in a corner. If they know you are there, you will lose the fight because they have the peak advantage. Again, if they're sprinting towards you, peek against them. Try it because you will die anyways if you're not trying it. Number five is try to reposition yourself. And the common fight in Escape from Tarkov, even if you have a chat or aggressive player, it's always the same corner peeking shots, corner peeking shots, corner peeking shots. And this is so common and it's such a big mistake. So in this mistake, is so deep in their mindset you can use this for your advantage also. After you made some bursts towards your enemy, flank. Make a big flank or a medium flank, it really depends on your position. For example, you had a firefight, second floor or first floor dorms. Try to move around, use another door, another entrance. You have so much opportunities, the worst one is peek from the same corner. Don't peek from the same position, don't peek from the same corner, use your flanking ability for your advantage because if you are following these rules you will become a very confident and aggressive pvp player and this is going to help you in escape from tarkov right now of course it's hard to beat some guys with level 5 and level 6 armor but as i said try to be confident don't think about your death because if you're thinking about that and if you are scary and if you're hiding in a corner you will die anyways so try to set everything on one card and push your opponents be aggressive try to strike back so let's summarize of that real quick aggressive players and chats tend to be over aggressive and over confident control w all the time pushing you all the time and try to peak during the right moment surprise them push back very aggressive and try to flank of course use nades and of course use your tactical device use the tech light tech lights and escape from tarkov are so important so underrated especially if your opponent is sprinting towards you, you can use tech lights. Tech lights are so important. Please guys watch my tech light video. And I had such a great experience today during my stream on Twitch. I faced so many M4 HK slick guys on customs and they had almost no chance against my M1A with my tech light. So try to analyze my clips, try to analyze your clips, what you can do better. If you are interested in, you can be a part of our Tarkov coaching school or Tarkov coaching series, you can send us your gameplay. If you have any questions, write a comment in the comment section below. Join our Discord because I received some gameplay footage from you guys. We are going to analyze that, making another coach series, of course, if you're interested in, write a comment in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please write your feedback into the comment section. And don't forget, we are streaming on Twitch, testing some settings, having some fun together. So let's join our Twitch stream. Link as always into the description and comment section below. And don't forget guys, we Germans want to win at least something. And if it's your like, don't forget to like this video. As always, see you in the next video.